Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video we will be talking about the issue of immigration, immigration, sorry, heading into the 2024 elections and how Democrats may uh, attempt to flip the script on this issue that uh, almost always favors the Republicans, that encourages people to vote Republican if it is a big issue for them, the issue of immigration. So yesterday there was a special election in New York's 3rd Congressional District. This was George Santos's seat. He was expelled from Congress back in December, I think. Um, and so they obviously held a special election to fill his seat until um, November 2024 of this year uh, when, you know, the general election will take place. Um, and this race was between a Democrat, Tom Swazi, who's a former U.S. representative, and a Republican, uh, Mazzy Pillup, who, I don't know, she was an assemblywoman or something, but um, Tom Swazi won by kind of a lot. Um, I mean, my prediction was very close, per usual, but um, but Tom Swazi won by 7.8%, um, and this was deemed as an impressive win. Uh, a lot of people, uh, or some people, I should say, were thinking that this race might be um, pretty close, and polls were actually showing that this would be between like a one and three point race. So polls were really close, but um, but most people expected Tom Swazi to win by somewhere near this margin. But this race did actually come down to the issue of immigration. It came down, it came down to that, and the Democrat excelled, and this should be the uh, national model for the Democrats heading into 2024. And uh, Chris Murphy, senator from Connecticut, has highlighted this. Many Democrats have highlighted this and pushed forward this message already. So um, this was before the election, but uh, Swazi ran a conservative campaign when it came to immigration. Of course, this is a New York, uh, I'm, the, part of this district is in Queens, um, in New York City. Obviously, even though it, it is so far away from the southern border, New York is feeling the effects of immigration so, so much. They can't escape it. Migrants are being, so many migrants are being bused to huge cities like Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, um, but especially New York. I mean, New York is becoming, uh, or is in the news really for uh, all of this immigration towards the city. They have too many migrants. They don't know what to do with all of these people. They have to shut down schools some days to hold these migrants, and it is just a huge mess. The mayor doesn't know what to do. I mean, he has come out and said that he doesn't know what to do, and he needs major help from the federal government. I mean, the Democratic mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, is criticizing the Biden uh, administration for not doing enough. So this is a huge issue in New York's 3rd Congressional District, and instead of just backing away from it and hoping for the best, the Democrat here, Tom Suozzi, um, use this as a center point of his campaign. If you look at spending for ads, I don't have it up, but I did see it on CNN last night. Tom Swazi spent more on, much more, I think more than double, um, the amount of money that the Republican did, uh, on immigration ads than the Republican, which is so, so, so rare for the Democrat, but he is using it to his advantage because, um, just a little while ago, I mean, what was this? a week or two ago, the Republicans struck down this uh, bill to, or this border bill, this very conservative, this uh, conservative border bill that they, that uh, was introduced by one Democrat senator, um, Chris Murphy, one Republican senator, uh, James Lankford, and one independent senator, Kirsten Sinema. Uh, so obviously a bipartisan border bill that a lot of uh, Democrats were, you know, more left-leaning progressive Democrats were skeptical, to, reluctant to vote for because they believed it was too conservative. It was struck down by not the Democrats, but the Republicans in the House. They said that they wouldn't vote for it. And it's because of Donald Trump. Because Donald Trump doesn't want immigration to be a winning issue in 2024 for Joe Biden and the Democrats, which is just sad for the state of, of American politics. I mean, we were close to getting this border bill um, done. Finally, a uh, action on this issue that hasn't, you know, that no action is being taken upon. Uh, it hasn't for years. They just leave it alone in this crisis continues. 
and as something was about to finally get passed, Donald Trump says no, because it would hurt him in the presidential election. That is the state of our politics. And of course, all the Republicans in the House listen to it, listen to him, and they strike down his deal. It didn't even get to the Senate. Okay, the Senate was going to vote first on this. Um, it didn't even make it uh, to vote in the Senate. So, um, Donald Trump, you know, told these, uh, you know, came out against this bill to help him in the general election. But from what we see in New York's third, um, what we see in Tom Swazi's messaging and how he was able to win by 7.8 when polls were showing him winning by 1 to 3% um, means that this whole situation might not work in Trump's favor um, the way he figured it would because Tom Swazi ran this campaign on how the Republicans uh, have failed or failed, failed over the border. He talked, I mean, he ran multiple, numerous ads about this exact border bill that I was talking about and how Republicans were the ones that struck it down, that Republicans were the one that failed on the, Im on the issue of immigration, that the Republicans were the ones who didn't want to take action on this bill because it would hurt, him in the hurt them in the election. Um, and it really goes to show the character um, of Republicans, and that's effective. Uh, you know, for people making a decision, even more than how they stand on policy, is really the character um, of these politicians. And, you know, when you highlight that they didn't want to take action on such a um, issue, you know, such a big issue for New York voters like immigration, uh, it really, you know, diminishes their character. Uh, and, you know, it, it really um, is not a good look for the Republicans. When you have ads running like that. So if, you know, looking at the presidential in 2024 and congressional, because we see that uh, it was so effective in this congressional campaign. Now, I don't know how it would work in um, seats outside of big cities, but um, but if Democrats across the nation in any race can um, replicate what Tom Swazi was able to do in New York's third, paint Republicans as the one who are... Uh, you know, anti-action uh, when it comes to immigration that, you know, who don't want to take uh, action on this immigration issue because it would hurt them on the 2024 uh, ballot. You know, if you if you talk about this whole situation and this whole story that um, that just happened a couple weeks ago, you know, um, and you say that Republicans don't want to get things done because uh, they were afraid that it would give Democrats an accomplishment heading into 2024. I think that that could be really effective, and Tom Swazi winning by 7.8 proves just that. Um, so if Democrats can, um, you know, as I said, replicate what Tom Swazi was, was able to do, they are in good hands uh, in 2024, especially someone like Joe Biden, because that would definitely encourage, uh, you know, uh, voters, at least in cities where uh, immigration is a big issue, to, you know, turn out and vote against Donald Trump, whether that be for whoever, um, but, you know, it's less votes for Donald Trump. So, um, very interesting how the Democrats, um, on last, in last night's race, you know, the sides on immigration were flipped. I, I mean, obviously they the Republican also attempted to be conservative when it came to the issue, but so was the Democrat, and he was, uh, e you know, viewed as even more conservative on this issue. And, you know, every reporter asking voters um, at the polls what their biggest issue was, all of the voters said immigration. So this can be incredibly effective in, um, you know, places like New York where you have quite a few key congressional districts right around the city. You know, you've got Mike Lawler in, what is it, New York's 14. You've got Mark Molinaro. Um, you've got uh, Anthony uh, D'Esposito right under the Santos district. And then you've got to, you know, Democrats have to defend their Swazi seat. And 
November, which they'll be able to do. And then you've got all of these key districts along the southern border. Um, and this is where I really think it would be most effective, you know, with Latino voters who are, you know, becoming quite conservative when it comes to the issue of immigration. Uh, it will get, if they if Democrats are able to message this right, like Thomas Wazi was, they will a be able to reclaim uh, um, heavily Latino districts like the uh, Monica de la Cruz district. The um, uh, Eli Crane district, the um, Juan Kiscomoni district, uh, and then districts in Florida and so on. So that can be extremely effective in congressional elections. Joe Biden can use this to an advantage. I mean, remember, it was Donald Trump in the beginning who wanted to kill this border bill. So that can be extremely effective in Arizona is a very critical swing state. Um, Pennsylvania, even with Philadelphia, I don't know the state of the uh, of the migrant crisis there, but that may be effective. Um, but Biden does have work to do. Just um, highlighting this nationally, this poll is relatively recent, I believe. Um, it is a P uh, PBS um, and uh, poll partnered with Marist College, um, and sixty percent of adults disapprove of Joe Biden's handling of immigration. Only 29% approve and 12 are unsure. 60 to 29 is a horrible number. More than double the amount of Americans that approve of Joe Biden's handling of the immigration crisis disapprove. I mean, uh, among Democrats, um, let's see, what's it up above? Yeah, okay. Um, among Democrats, only over a majority, only a bit over a majority, approve of his handling of the uh, migrant crisis. 30% disapprove, 15% don't know, In a uh, Republican, only 7% approve, and 90% disapprove. That is a number that he has to work on, remember. His coalition in uh, quite, you know, in the critical swing states in 2020 included moderate Republicans, so he has to work on those numbers. Independent, only 22% approve, 66% disapprove. So that is times three. The amount that approve, uh, the amount of independents that approve of Biden's handling of immigration, uh, disapprove of Biden's handling of immigration. So this is uh, historically been not a uh, good subject or issue for Democrats, but they can change that. Um, they can learn from New York's 3rd Congressional District. I mean, this is really the only reason why this is a, um important race is, is uh, for what Democrats can learn from this race. And Tom Swazi, I mean, he's a good candidate overall, much better than um than Mazi Pillup. I mean, there are a lot of issues why Swazi won by 7.8. He was much well-funded. He had a uh, much higher name recognition. He was way more well-known in this district. But immigration was definitely one of them. So thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you all go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want, and I'll see you all later.